Domestic wastewater contains nitrogen and phosphorus from human waste, food and certain soaps and detergents. Specially, they are categorized as two main parts. One is grey water, which is generated from sinks, showers, bathtubs, washing machines and dishwashers. Second one is black water, which is generated from toilets and urinals. Industrial wastewater generated during the operation of the industry or factory. Especially, they contain more harmful chemicals than the domestic wastewater. Hospital wastewater mostly contains compounds such as biodegradable organic matter, minerals, dissolved, colloidal or suspended, toxic metals, especially mercury, and detergents. Agricultural wastewater are animal waste and fertilizer and pesticides. 1. Animal waste. Strong organic content it is much stronger than human sewage nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus 2. Pesticides, including herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides. Pesticides are chemicals designed to kill pests, including insects, insecticides, weeds, herbicides, and fungi, fungicides. Content of wastewater, sewerage. Water is the highest content of the wastewater. With the water oils and greases, nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, organic matter, pathogens such as bacteria, viruses and protozoa, Helminthus such as intestinal worms and worm-like parasites are contaminated. Runoff from streets, parking lots and roofs contaminate the water with surface residuals. Heavy metals like mercury, cadmium, lead, chromium and toxic chemicals also might be a part of the wastewater. Biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand are the major parameters in the wastewater. Also the treater effluent checked for the recommended biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand values. So, let's understand the difference between those two. Biological oxygen demand is called BOD. Chemical oxygen demand called COD. BOD is performed by aerobic organisms while COD is performed by chemical reagents. BOD is measured by keeping a sealed water sample for incubation for a period of 5 days at 20 degrees Celsius. The reduction in dissolved oxygen gives the amount of oxygen consumed by the aerobic organisms. But in COD test, the water sample is incubated with a strong oxidant in combination with boiling sulfuric acid for a specific period of time and temperature. Effect of untreated sewerage disposal. Sewage released into the agriculture lands, rivers and oceans can cause a threat to both human health and the environment. Water pollution causes direct affect to both wildlife and marine life by infection or death. And human affect by illnesses due to polluted water consumption, caused by pathogens, which are biological, infectious agents that cause diseases or illnesses. And illnesses due to consumption of infected fish or seafood. And infectious diseases linked to bathing and swimming in polluted waters. What is sewerage treatment? It is a mechanism to remove the contaminants from sewage to produce an effluent that is usable or suitable to discharge to the surrounding environment. A sewage treatment plant works by breaking down solid waste to produce a cleaner, more environmentally friendly effluent. There are many types of wastewater treatment plants available with different technologies. 1. Activated sludge plant. It is designed to sustain the growth of microorganisms or activated sludge that removes dissolved and suspended material in the wastewater. The activated sludge process often refers to a system in which the activated sludge is treated aerobically by adding air to ease the removal of nitrogen compounds. It is also accompanied by excess sludge returning from a clarifier as a bulking agent. It is essential to maintain the required concentration of microorganisms. 2. Moving Biobed Reactor is the most used system for treating wastewater by municipal and industrial plants. The MBBR plant requires a lot of space and a complex control system. So, moving an MBBR plant and setting it up to a new location is not a small job. A bioreactor or biological reactor is a device that uses living material to convert toxic or polluting compounds into less harmful or less polluting compounds. In wastewater treatment, bioreactors do a similar thing, and they contain growing biological material that converts the pollutants into less harmful pollutants. 3. Membrane Bioreactor Electrocoagulation System Electrocoagulation is a process that uses an electric field to help remove particles from water. Electrocoagulation can be used for the pretreatment of wastewater to enhance the performance of tertiary sand filtration, and it can be used as a method of wastewater treatment. Water passing through an electrocoagulation cell is exposed to alternating electrical potential, 
and it can cause dissolved and suspended solids in water, including colloidal material, to flocculate. 4. Rotating Bioreactor 5 Trickling Filter Treated water can be used for many applications. They are agricultural and landscape irrigation, toilet flushing, makeup water for cooling tower, street washing, groundwater recharge, and drinking. Look at the examples of the treated water usage around the world. First one is Singapore-based water treatment company produce bottled water from wastewater. Second one is San Francisco-based water treatment company Epic Cleantech made a beer using water recycled from a luxury apartment building. You wouldn't know if you tasted it, but Epic One Water Brew is a beer with a peculiar ingredient. It's made with water recycled from the showers, sinks and washing machines of a residential building. 